Living systems have existed for billions of years, and there will be more life in the future if there are no landfills in nature. Wouldn't there be more and more waste from living things, until it covers the entire planet? Nothing to worry about. Because in nature, there is a powerful cycle of matter, everything grows and dies, and what they leave behind returns to the soil and becomes a resource for other living things to grow. Just as the insects eat the plants, the birds eat the insects, and when the birds die, they are broken down and become food for the plants. And so it goes on and on. It's not the same with us. When the stuff we produce is discarded, there's no way to break it down, so our children and grandchildren end up in garbage dumps. This is our current economic model, mine, make, consume, throw away a useful resource gradually becomes useless, garbage or pollution emissions, this is not difficult to understand, home buy a washing machine, broken once or twice, take to repair it may still work, but how many times? You might consider replacing your washing machine, and the old one will probably be thrown away. The emergence of new products inevitably means the elimination of old products, even if they are still usable, but most people still choose to put them in the bin. As a result, the more resources we extract, produce and consume, the more waste we leave behind. However, we do not have the wisdom of nature, recycling, these garbage is difficult to become resources, more difficult to decompose, they not only occupy land, but also cause all kinds of pollution. We are using up limited resources and creating more pollution because our products end up as garbage. So is there a mechanism that works in the long run? To make these products useful for a long time, even when they become waste, without polluting the natural environment. Thinking from the angle of circular economy can be very well solved. We can design biodegradable biomaterials to make products that will decompose naturally even if they become waste. At present, this method is mainly applied to packaging and tableware, which are made from natural materials, such as paper products, straw, starch, etc. You've probably already seen them when you go to the supermarket, from wheat cups to biodegradable meal boxes. No, even if you throw it away, it will become part of the earth and not a burden on the environment. I know that to recycle discarded items, recycling of discarded items is also a good way. Also, have no less wasting waste materials. These materials back into production, as in life, often hear of the old phone in wash basin of stainless steel, because the cell phone recycling back can extract the valuable metals in the mobile phone and then these precious metals into the raw material factory. Another approach is to rethink the way we think about ownership. To use it, you don't have to own it. In plain English, you rent instead of buy. For example, we can use shared cars without the premise of owning them. The advantage of this is that resources can be fully flowing to meet the consumption needs of more people and thus create more value. How many things are eating dust in your room? If, at all possible, they had chosen to rent them, they would not now have been left out in the cold and would eventually have been swept out. If they had chosen to rent them, they are now being used by others. To sum up, it is a circular economy to arrange its life and afterlife properly at the beginning of creation, and avoid letting it go into landfills and incinerators. Simply put, garbage? There is no garbage in the dictionary of circular economy. The above is just a part of the circular economy, to help you understand the meaning of the cycle. Of course, we believe you have better ideas, and by participating in the design of the circular economy, we can help you achieve your big goals. The world may be different because of you.